Okay, you beautiful fandom, welcome back to the back of the semi-truck, and I don't know what it is, but sometimes, just sometimes, I have a tendency of wearing just the perfect t-shirt for that day, and today is one of those days. I am watching episode one of volume eight, and the title to this episode is Divide, and I am wearing a United Way t-shirt that says, Live United. So, hopefully, hopefully the gang of Ruby can live united and not sit here, if I can get words out of my mouth, not sit there and be divided like Salem is wanting, because we just ended on a note of Salem is riding in on just a giant well of a... I know there's a couple names for him. It's either Richard or Monstra or, you know, whatever like that. But Salem is riding in on this giant stage of a whale. And then we have Penny. She is our winter maiden. You know, the, I, it just popped in my head. If any maiden would, if Penny would have been any maiden, I would have thought it would have ended up being like, the spring maiden or something that would have been cool because for some reason penny's got a bubbly personality that i would just associate with springtime so yeah um <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with that but hey you know and since i didn't say it at the beginning this is a semi truck so y'all know the drill noise 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 blah 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 it comes in i'm at that location where i got planes that fly overhead and stuff like that so it is what it is but yeah we are about to sit here and watch this and i know i'm not pointing to nothing on the camera but I'm pointing to the tablet that has this episode up for me, and I'm really surprised that it's only an 18 minute and 59 minute second, not minute, 59 second episode, because I was expecting it to be like a 22, 23 minute episode, and granted, I do know one thing though, we are jumping right into this episode, because it's the first episode, we do that every episode, you know, every episode one of you know the volumes because you know traditional anime or at least what i'm being told i've been told that animes wait until after the first episode slash chapter to show the intro so yeah ruby is kind of my entry point into anything anime so yeah um i guess <sighs> i guess one thing though one thing i do need to do Stop drinking these flipping energy drinks. I am flipping wired. And I know I need to stop. And you know what I just noticed? That is 10 calories. And I don't like that. I want zero calories. But you know what? There are planes flying overhead. So before it can get to us and make more noise, we're going to put these earbuds in in 3, 2, 1, and play. Okay. It's just the new Rooster Teeth logo. Cool beans. Let's do this, y'all. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? This is a very different opening than I was expecting. Girl, I think, I was about to say, I think you got that spot clean, girl. Oh, we got Neo. Ah, Cinder. I figured that was her arm doing that scratching there ah I see them teeth on that monstrosity of a whale are y I was about to say are y'all actually going to go into the oh that's interesting they're going into the belly of the beast. Okay. There's our queen sitting on her throne. Oh, 
saying our queen makes me feel like I'm rooting for the bad guy. But eh, my queen. I don't mind. Cinder. Hmm. When I chose you as my vessel for the maidens, I put my trust in you. Vessel for the maidens. That's plural. So I trust that you wouldn't possibly return to me empty-handed. The relic of knowledge. I took it right from under Ironwood's nose. Yeah, I was about to say, I wish you could speak up now. Speaks less to your intellect and more to his. After all, you were outsmarted by those children first. And according to radio chatter, that same general and his forces outsmarted you. A shame Watts never made it back. Yeah, he's Love in jail. The doctor was a necessary sacrifice. I do hope this little one doesn't become another. Oh, you better be careful with her. Who is she? Neapolitan has some very useful abilities and has proven to be a valuable asset. Hmm. You certainly do enjoy hmm. collecting assets. Yeah, where is Emerald and Mercury lately? There they are. Cinder. You're here! I knew you'd quiet. Ah, oh, she's so bubbly when she saw so her. Hey, Hazel! So incompetent. Well, the good doctor and I were advancing the will of our goddess, dismembering the very body of this kingdom. You were merely atoning for past failures. Polandina's creation interfered with the transfer of the Winter Maiden power. Mm. But now I know she has it. And once I return to Atlas, it won't take long to finish what I started. That power will be mine. I've given no such command. Ah, I like how everything stops when Salem speaks. Ma'am, now is the time to... This game is not yours to win, Cinder. It's mine. Huh. Just because you're more valuable to me than a pawn does not make you a player. Oh. Everything is already in motion. Wow. All you need concern yourself with is That is quite a line right there. When I tell you to. Of course. Without you, I am nothing. Hmm. Without you, I'm nothing. And then there's also, just because you're not a pawn doesn't mean you're a player. Oh my gosh, that was a good line. Hmm. Okay, so are we back on mantle? Yeah, we gotta be. So what you got going on, Oscar? He's trying to offer you food, dude. Don't be too jumpy. Thank you. <clears throat> Heads up. Oh, yeah. Ospin's back. Ruby! <laughs> of course he needs a lift. The Grim are still crawling around. I was stupid to think the General would listen. Every choice I've made was the wrong one. And now... It's not 100% the wrong one. Was best. I'm just glad you're alright. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Inside, hurry. Uh, 
<laughs> I saw that coming. Sector three is going to need the most help. I'm sending back up your way right now. Fiona, do you copy? We need transport from sector three to the crater. Copy. Yeah, I know. You're all wanted. Aww. So, he was so used to her being so exuberant. When we heard you went off after Iron that alone, we... he was bracing for impact. In the slums? It's a um, long story. I get the feeling there's been a few of those tonight. You're not going to tell them. You Actually, let me put this over here. Well, where's Crow? He's been arrested. We don't know. Oh, y'all don't know. I heard he was with Robin, but... All right. Your friend is back now. You ready to work? I like that. The largest grim horde ever seen. I like that on the wanted poster. That Penny is right there beside Team Ruby. With no heat, and from what you told us, no more military protection. And while we're happy to give you guys a place to lie low for a while, it's time to get those people some help. How? Ironwood is stopping all evacuations to Atlas, and we can't get them out of the city with Salem's forces surrounding us. The crater beneath Atlas. It's not safe, but it's warm. And with everyone in one place, we can do a better job protecting them. May can send you where you're needed hmm. most. We've got to get everyone down into that crater before nightfall. In the slums, we might have a chance. Hmm. We're never going to sleep again. I okay. just know it. <laughs> Either you're helping. Oh, goodness. Or your baggage. Hmm. This team's been through a lot. We need to get out there and do what we can for Mantle. We need to do what we can for everyone. What about Amity? And telling the world about Salem? We can't do this alone. We need help. Ruby's right. The Happy Huntresses are handling the evacuation better than we could. And there's a bigger picture. But Amity isn't even finished. Huh. It was still under construction. Doctor? What would you need to launch Amity now? Uh, we made decent progress on construction and fuel collection. All potentially manageable, but, uh... Hmm. Amity was designed so that it couldn't launch itself without first being granted clearance from General Ironwood's term. Ruby, there is no way Ironwood will cooperate with us. But he doesn't have to. We just need the green light from his terminal, right? You want to go back there to you the go. academy? Yeah, actually. You don't need the green light from him. You need the green light to the terminal. The one in his office and uh, one in the main Atlesian military compound at the base of the city. You'd have to get into the compound somehow, then uh, get inside the operations room, and then, oh boy, I might need to think about this some more. And just to clarify, this is the easy option? What you're saying is it can't be done. It's pointless. And even if you got the message out, there's no guarantee help would yeah, come. Yeah, well... It's not pointless. Yeah, I was about to say, that hasn't stopped y'all before. Topic. She's not hiding anymore, and once she's done here, she'll move on to the rest of Remnant. We need to warn them! Ruby, when we came here, we said we'd follow your lead. But things haven't exactly worked out. Oh, uh, what, well, Yeah. So is I this a bit of a mutiny game? Need us right now. That's something we can actually do. But this isn't about just Atlas. Ruby's right. It's about all of Remnant. They need to know in Vacuo, in Mistral, in Vale, what's coming. So they can huh. prepare. Okay, okay. Then let's go for both. Get Amity up and running and evacuate Mantle. But that's how Sam oh my gosh, y'all are, uh, y'all are so divided. No, I said live together. united. No. What Salem ah. wants is to turn us against each other. Just like this. John has a point. We can work separately and still be united. Ah, there you go. Or let me take the relic to Salem. And maybe she will call off her attack on the kingdom. 
I don't think we can mm. trust Salem to actually do that. And the moment she uses the staff to create anything else, Atlas falls onto Mantle. Nobody's turning you over to anybody. I think that's the one thing we could all agree on. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Then I guess we're going to Atlas. Can you help us get to that terminal? I uh, suppose someone needs to help you bypass security. I'll go. <sighs> Penny, we can't. Yeah, I, ha I haven't go. much heard. Okay, Penny. I haven't heard much from Penny this do chapter. What you gotta do. I'm going out there to see what I could do. Yeah, yeah where do you two fall? Go by the pharmacy. I was mean, developing some new tools for you all I'll before say that in a second. this happened. You're gonna need them. Nora? I'm going with Ruby. But what about Mantle? Oh, I'm saving Mantle. Because I actually believe we can do this. Hmm. We're still united. I hope so. I can get Pietro out to Amity to okay. her, but that doesn't answer how we're I was wondering when I said where do you two stand, I was meaning Weiss and Blake earlier, so now I see where they stand. Hello, Penny. Iron for your safety. Tell me where you are, and I'll have you picked up right away. Atlas needs you, Penny. Salem is here. Mm. She's not going anywhere until you change your mind about Mantle. There's still a chance for Remnant to Mantle. be- Mantle? You're still worried about Mantle? Remnant is doomed, Ruby. <sighs> Unless we leave, Salem will destroy Atlas, and with it, any hope humanity okay. has left. We need to think about the future. Oh, she makes come it through her on. Everything that follows will be on your hands. It's not on her hands. I'm told you really, really suck in this volume, Harriet. And here I was thinking that Clover Sir, was completely killed. They're being processed in stockade B. <laughs> Crow and Robin. <sighs> you know, I like your hair down, moves? but I kind of like it like this too. It's not completely down, but it's not completely up either. Thank you, Winter. I don't know what I would do without you. Hmm. I've never. No one has ever seen a Grim Force this large before. The Where's the flying gorilla Grim Force? Come on! I ain't seen them yet. What will you do, sir? Wait, you can't be in here. This is Hold absurd. On. Let us through. I am going to do everything I can. I still to see. This I, I still feel like those two just don't fit in this universe. <laughs> no matter the cost. Oh, no matter the cost. What are you about to do? Ah, dang! I knew that's what he was about to do. Come on, Winter. Do you not see what's right in front of you? He's a psychotic, self-deluded, um, maniac. <sighs> oh, that's a great visual. I love it. I have questions for you. But first, I need the one who can show me how. Bring him to me. Hmm. So, I am getting left with that cliffhanger, ain't I? Or am I? Yep. Intro. Here it is. Is it? Okay, I kind of like the little 
glitchy movement there. Oh, I like that. Okay. I like this. I, I like these transitions and these silhouettes. And this is so far the best intro. Yes, definitely. Oh no, not you two fighting! Y'all just got together. Dang it! Ironwood can't be the king. I'm talking about the chessboard wise. <laughs> okay. I seen that thing right there where it showed Yang and Ruby kind of divided in a split screen, but yet they still gave that look like we're good. So Yang and Ruby are still good. Happy? Ever, never again. Huh. Okay, that's a little ominous with the, um, with the scythe. Just sitting there at the very, very end of it. Um, should I be listening to this even more, or... Nah, this is just the end credits. Okay. Yeah, that's a very ominous thing right there with the very end of all the weapons laying on the ground. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I am going to have this thing... You know, I'm going to wait until I'm 100% sure that this is all that I... I feel like I'm watching kind of a, 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 a season final, almost, or a volume final. Okay, I'll just put this in my ear real fast. That way I know 100% sure before I go back like a minute and a half. That way I can catch something. No, I better... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I better not actually go back to the intro because then I will be getting spoiled. Um, well, I probably won't be getting spoiled, but I will be getting kind of like some tidbits here and there and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is instead just do that. Okay, so right now what's in front of me is Cinder coming back to Salem. And that brings up the memory of that one line. Just because I don't see you as a pawn doesn't mean that you are a player. So, I don't know exactly what that means for, you know, Cinder. I don't know which, you know, chess piece that she is. Um, she's obviously not the queen, because I would say the queen chess piece would be Salem herself, because regardless of what everyone says, the king, granted, yes, that's the one that you're trying to attack, is the king in chess, I understand that. But the most important chess piece is the queen. The queen can move in any direction as far as possible and attack from any direction. So it's not just a simple, like the king can only move one space at a time. Okay, so the king is not the most, let's say, valuable player on the board. Let's say it that way. The king is not the most valuable the most valuable and most powerful is always the queen. Granted, yes, the queen can't do like what a knight can do, such as, you know, up one over two, up two over one, stuff like that, moving that little L shape that a knight does. So I'm not 100% sure where Cinder falls on the chessboard. Maybe she's a rook? Hmm. Not 100% sure. Um, so yeah. Um, but that scene where Emerald is kind of jogging towards her, she's exuberant, she's, there's more to Emerald than meets the eye. Um, she's got more complexity to her, which brings, speaking of complexity, that brings me over here to the, oops, that's going to Amphibia, I don't want to watch that yet. But that brings me over there to, speaking of complexity, that brings me to uh, Nora. 
Ah, because Nora grew up poor and she is definitely feeling the pains of Mantle and the people of Mantle and she's wanting to help them. She's not quite the exuberant, happy-go-lucky Nora that we've all come to know, you know, such as the Pinkie Pie of the group. She is not overly abundantly happy, exuberantly. Granted, we did see a little bit of that exuberance in the intro for this series, or at least this season, slash this volume, slash whatever we want to call it. We did see a little bit of that exuberance, but we did not actually get to see that whenever Oscar came in. Because when Oscar came in, he was bracing for the impact of like being bombarded by Nora. But then he come to realize that she's not nearly as exuberant as she once was. And yeah, I, there's a lot going on, but, uh, and right now what I'm looking at is them going through the separate plans. And I like that. They're divided, but still united. That is very, very, very key. Now, I don't like that nor and the what I'm looking at again is John is that piece that holds everything together. He's kind of the glue of it, and I don't know why he's so important with that, but he is kind of the glue that's holding them together, and he's just kind of the... I don't know exactly what word I'm looking for there, but I know y'all know what I mean. And I, I got so many different things that I'm wanting to go with here, and I, I don't know how I feel about Penny. Um, Penny can make her own decisions, of course, but... Uh, it's, I, I, I want so much more storyline with Penny so badly. But I'm also in, interested in Nora's complexity here because I don't want... Nora and Ren literally just finally got together, and they just finally shared their first kiss and all that stuff and now it seems like they're divided and I don't want that division I hate flipping division holy crap um so yeah um I want to I want to go back to this intro here I like the intro I did just skip ahead but I'm not going to even I'm not even going to look at it <laughs> I can't help it but I'm you know what there, I'm not even going to look at it. Actually, that didn't help anything because it didn't flip over properly. There we go. So, yeah, there's so many things I want to talk about, but I don't want to do a whole, you know, a 50-minute video because I don't have things written down and being like, okay, I'm going to touch this subject, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I just, I, I, I'm not that kind of person. I, I can't talk for... Holy crap, Murder of Birds, I think his name was. I can't talk that long. Well, let, let me rephrase that. I can't, when I do a live stream, I can run my mouth forever. But when it's just off the top of my head and I have no guidance or anybody in the comments to kind of guide me and stuff like that, my mind and thoughts are just 15 different directions. And, I, you know, yeah, I mean, I want to talk about all this stuff, but at the same time, I just want to jump into the next episode. So, with that said, I'm not jumping into the next episode right now, but what I am going to do is pass it off to y'all and let y'all hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.